Today, I want to talk a little bit about 3D printers and specifically Bamboo Labs. Now, there's going to be two parts of this video. There's a part A, where we're going to talk about a blog post that Bamboo have released with regards to some allegations online regarding their software as well as their log system. Secondly, I then just want to talk a little bit more widely about some of the comments that I've seen being made by people like Nathan Builds Robots with regards to how Bamboo Lab behave with regards to creators. So what I'm going to do first of all is take a look at this blog post and then we're going to come back and get more into the weeds of talking about how I have worked with Bamboo Lab and what I have received as well as my thoughts on the whole situation on these comments as well as others out there. Now this blog post has been released based on some allegations made on a 3D printing live stream that Bamboo is using open source software but not complying with the rules. Bamboo is also using their logs to be able to hide things like your 3D print files. Now just to be crystal clear, these comments were made in a live stream with zero real world evidence. There was nothing added to this to say, hey, here is the evidence. They were simply comments made on a stream. And Bamboo has now put out a statement or a blog post with regards to these allegations. Now, I'm going to link to it in the description and allow you to go read it. But the very basics are they address three specific comments. Bamboo Labs firmware being theft of open source software, the land mode being a facade with logs secretly transferred in the background, and the logs files containing property such as 3MF or STL files. Bamboo Lab are crystal clear on their stance here. Bamboo Lab firmware is our own in-house development. We strictly comply with all licensing requirements for code use for clear verifiable details please refer to their open source wiki that is where they publish what they use in their products with regards to the log files they say we can only access your log file when you the customer explicitly and manually upload them for us to troubleshoot whether it's in land mode or cloud mode our process ensures that the action is entirely customer initiated Furthermore, number three, the content of log files. The log file records the machine's command and sensor data as they are meant to. They do not contain your 3MF or STL files. Now, there is a lot more to this blog post that I'm not going to get into, and they've put some email addresses on there if people want to reach out to them. But the very basics are they are stating that they fully comply with all open source software that they use with regards to the requirements. Their code inside the printer is closed source, but they are again confirming it is entirely their own. The log files are not shared unless you choose to do so. And furthermore, those log files do not contain 3D print files regardless, even if you do choose to share them. Now, the reality is this. All of these comments that were shared were based on zero real world evidence. I have personally seen nothing to suggest that Bamboo Lab are anything but truthful in what they're saying. I am someone who is more than happy to highlight a company when they do something wrong. However, what you can't have is that both ways and then not highlight it when they're doing something correct. And whilst there has been allegations circling around this on and off, the reality is today the evidence is as follows. There is zero evidence to say that Bamboo is not complying with the open source software that they use in requirements. Their software, they say internally, which is closed source on their printers, is entirely their own. And they are not stealing your log files. Only you share them. But when you do share them, don't worry, they do not contain your 3D print files. Now, I have seen all of this stuff before in the drone industry, and you always get these kind of things when you get a closed source system enter a big open source industry. 3D printing has predominantly been made up by hardware manufacturers banging out hardware, all based on free software, without having to pay for the development or the support of it. Pretty much every other printer is based on free open source software that the people who are making that printer have not had to pay for. That tends to cause problems in an industry because you get companies just banging out hardware, not really understanding how the software fully works, just competing with other companies all based on the same platform, and the industry starts to stagnate. You can see the waves that Bamboo caused when they came in because they started to do things that not necessarily others had hadn't done, but they did it in a way that was good for consumers. They have made their printers simple, easy to use out the box, and generally work 
very, very well. I'm not going to say they're perfect and I'm not going to say you won't get traditional 3D printing style issues, but they are the most turnkey 3D printers that I have ever used and we shouldn't be afraid of closed source or start to treat it with suspicion. We should actually embrace what the likes of Bamboo Lab have done and then hope that that pushes the other companies to do better because frankly looking at the mess of stuff that some companies are putting out they're sitting there smashing out their hardware based on free software and then spending the next six months tidying it up simply because they didn't do it properly first time. Don't also underestimate the cost difference in the manufacture of a product that they're having to develop the software and hardware for compared to just the hardware. If we talk about Creality, for instance, they get to spend all of their time messing with the hardware and basically then say, hey, we've installed Clipper, maybe make a few tweaks and push it out into the market. That's great and there are people who will be happy with that but the cost of the software implementation that the likes of Bamboo are doing is not cheap and you shouldn't just assume that they're doing something bad or wrong because they've chose to go down that route because it isn't the simplest one. The simplest one for Bamboo would have been to simply make the hardware and use the free software. So, what you're starting to see here is this kind of pushback from people who either don't like closed source or frankly just don't like the fact that Bamboo is doing so well and you're getting these stupid allegations like we've seen here come up. Now, just to be crystal clear on a few things, I have made the decision to make this video, no one has asked me to. Secondly, I have not been paid to make this video and I have never been paid to make a 3D printing video on this channel by any manufacturer. In fact, I have never been paid to make a video on this channel. Furthermore, I have received printers from Bamboo Labs for free. I have received printers from Creality for free as well as other manufacturers. With regards to Bamboo Labs specifically, I have received an X1 Carbon, a P1S and an A1 Mini. They were all sent to me to review for free and they have not asked for those printers back. However, that is exactly the same situation as I have with Creality and exactly the same situation I have with others such as Quiddy. What I also want to just add is that Bamboo Lab have never placed a single condition on any review that I have made on this channel. There are many companies that when you receive a product will give you a set of talking points they'd like you to highlight or things that they would like specifically mentioned in the review. Bamboo Lab have never done that, they have never paid me to make a video and in fact they have never even asked to see the review before it's been published. When I have received a product from Bamboo it has simply been here, take a look, let us know if you have any feedback, we look forward to seeing what you think. They have never actually asked me to even make a video, unlike other manufacturers that do place specific conditions on some things that they would like you to say, review guidance, as well as having a view of the video before it's been published. Bamboo are one of a very small number of companies that I deal with who are probably up there with being the best, period, in the sense of no conditions, do what you want, we hope you enjoy it. If there's a problem, let us know. Now, there is one other thing I also want to add on top of this for complete clarity. I am also a member of the Bamboo Lab affiliate scheme, but I am also a member of the Creality affiliate scheme and a number of others. If people use my Bamboo Lab link on my printer reviews, I will benefit. However, that is the case for Creality and others and I have no reason to treat Bamboo or Creality any different to each other. In fact, those of you who watch this channel regularly know my opinion is always my opinion. It can never be bought for an affiliate link or a click link. This channel is largely funded by the community. Frankly, if a manufacturer wants to pull an affiliate scheme, they can. I don't care. It will not change what I do on this channel and my opinion can never be bought. The fact I use an affiliate scheme means that I get more money coming into the channel to allow me to buy more products that 
don't seed me them for review that allow me to be able to make more content. It is a benefit for me to use these links to allow me to buy more other stuff to talk about. I am more than happy to use Creality's money, Bamboo's money, to help me pay for products like from DJI to allow me to review them because that's what I need to be able to do to be able to provide you the information that you need. Now, just to share some thoughts on the comments by the likes of Nathan Bills Robots on how Bamboo is treating its creators and making people afraid to say what they really think, as well as my thoughts on some of his stuff right now. I don't know that channel. I don't know the person. I have watched it for quite some time. I can share with you, as I've already done already, how Bamboo treated me, and that's all I can say. I have no fear of what Bamboo may do. I will say what I think, and if they choose then not to work with me, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Others, though, are not in that position because I'm not a full-time channel, others are. And let's be realistic here. Day one release is a very important time for any creator. Being part of a pre-release is really important unless you're a niche channel like me where people are not worried to wait to see what you think. The big channels use that day one release to be able to get the viewership to allow them to pay their bills. No one should ever be upset with a channel trying to make money. People seem to think having content on YouTube should be free. Whilst it is free, it costs money to make. We all have bills to pay and if you're full time on this, you need to make money. What people want from me is my open and honest opinion and that's what I give and that's what you're looking for when you're looking for a review. You're looking for the information, good and bad, and you're looking then at what that person's opinion is and you then either trust that opinion or you don't. Everyone's opinion will vary. What you can't do though is say someone's opinion is wrong. If they choose not to list a load of bad things about a product, that is different. But you can't argue with an opinion because opinion is based on each person's personal feelings. With regards to reviewing though, there are people who get involved on day one and there are people who aren't. And from what I have seen, Nathan Bills Robots is no longer working with Bamboo. I know he's been making some comments over the last few weeks and months on them and that's fine. They can choose not to support him in the fact of releasing new products to him. However, you've then got to sort of look at what agendas are coming into play when content is being released by him around release time. For instance, if he didn't have the product on day one you had all these other creators who were going to benefit from releasing a video talking about the new product and all his option would be is to sit there and read a spec sheet which no one's going to want to see or he could say something a little bit controversial a little bit pushing things and that then would get him some views and that then will help to pay the bills. Just because there are 10 people saying positive things and there is one guy who didn't get it saying negative things, it doesn't mean he is the only one telling the truth. It's really easy for people to sit there and say, those 10 people have been bought and paid for and he is the only one telling us how it really is. That is far from reality and it's often the case that the truth is somewhere between the two. The reality is most creators are telling you the open and honest truth as they see it. Most people who are not involved in release and only go negative tend to be in the situation of trying to find a way of getting that video seen because look, as I've said already, what is the point of making a video if it's not going to be seen. So many times I've seen people say, hey, you've only made this video to get clicks. Well, yes, that is the whole bloody point of YouTube. There is no point putting a video on YouTube if it's not going to be seen. What you're looking for is, is the creator being truthful? I don't personally believe for one minute there are creators out there actively trying to avoid upsetting Bamboo. Do I think a creator may work with Bamboo to ensure that the product that he's received is working as expected? Yes. In fact, that is actually the responsibility of a creator at times as well. Do I think there's this situation of having one person who isn't being sent the product telling the whole truth and everyone else lying? No, it's complete nonsense and again what you've got to take into account is the agenda on all sides and affiliate links alone do not mean someone is not 
telling the truth. If a channel is honest, it doesn't matter if there's affiliate links, it doesn't matter if there's money even involved to be paid. At the end of the day, that person is either going to tell the truth or they're not. And if they're an honest person, they're just going to say how it is. As I've said, I don't do paid reviews on this channel and I don't know how many paid reviews there are out there. But just because there's something like an affiliate link in the description doesn't necessarily mean that person is wrong. And on the flip side, when you do have people going overly negative and they've been, say, removed from affiliate schemes for stuff, you've got to look at the wider implications. You can't always just say what you want about manufacturers and there being no fallout for that. Trust me, I know that more than anyone. But if there is fallout, you have to accept that. I don't work with DJI. I criticise them a lot but I also praise them when they do things right as well. I criticize all of the manufacturers I work with as much as I promote them. And the fact that I'm either part of an affiliate scheme or I'm not doesn't change that. In the end, what counts is truth. Are you being honest and open with your audience? And I don't think the 3D printing community really has a big problem, but you will have people playing on this to try and find their own benefit when they're not, say, being seeded products anymore. In the end, with regards to my experience with Bamboo Lab, it has been outstanding. I have no complaints at all. They are one of the best companies that I have worked with and I hope that continues to be the case in the future. With regards to all of this nonsense going on in the 3D printing industry, there is jostling. People are stepping over each other to try and get the views, try and get the clicks. But don't just believe one side versus the other. What we know today is there is no evidence to suggest that Bamboo Lab is doing anything wrong. They are continuing to make great products and I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing in the future. Now, that's it from me on this one. I'm really interested in knowing your thoughts. Please do let me know below. I guess this might be a little bit of an interesting video with regards to the feedback, so let me know what you think. Stay safe, and I will speak to you soon.